So Ewan, uh, welcome back to more Hat in Time. I'm here. Yeah, you, you wanted to play more of this game. Yeah. So here we are for part two. Playing with hats, playing with some time. Whoa. Playing with a mustache what? girl. Whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. Yeah, I kind of knew about it. That's kind of why I'm taking them back. Just hits her with it. Clonk. Didn't you know I can't talk? This is crazy. Do you even realize what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the mafia that one time. We could. It's a it's a common trope. The silent protagonist. Yeah, it's almost. So I think Nintendo did it first with. Zelda and Metroid and Mario followed because it's easier to put your self as the main character. Well, isn't that the having point of having an opinion? All the Wait, Nintendo games is like, yeah, just pretend sense. it's you. Yeah, because it's well, they're, they're games, they're role playing. Yeah, but then you get stuff with like deep cinematics, like say The Witcher or the Last of Us, any of that stuff. Or Halo, or anything where the main character talks, and if you have a different opinion than they do, then you're not yeah, playing with them anymore. Yeah. Which is why I like the Fallout series, because you can like have dialogue options. Uh, Mass Effect does it as well. Really well. The only part I don't like about like the Fallout is sometimes you look at a thing and you're like, huh, that seems about right what I like what I want to say, and then they say it really rude, and you're like. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me just save scum that. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, the option will be like, yeah, for sure. And then you click on it and it's like, yeah, how about you go eat it? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? No. That's not what I want. Yeah, follow four is the worst for that. Oh my goodness. There, there's a mod to fix that. Where it actually tells you what you're going to say? Yeah, instead of just like a... A one Generic. or two word sentence. Yeah. Yeah. I like Fallout uh, New Vegas a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Misty and I are playing it. Really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, if she ever visits the studio again, we'll probably play another round of it, maybe. A round of it. Mm -hmm. We haven't actually played since Christmas, so it's been a while. Okay. Because yeah. so what's it now? September? Yeah, Oof. it's been a while. Yeah, aye, it aye, doesn't aye. feel like it should be September. Nope, just wake me up when September ends. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, it's Halloween. It's almost Christmas again. Oh my god, I, What are you doing? I have to buy Christmas presents again? You don't have to. There's no law that says you do. I mean, there might be. <laughs> I don't know the laws. The big corporation had their way. <laughs> Some girl. Some girl. <laughs> Double glasses. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Too busy looking at the weird penguin. And then I started thinking of penguin wars. <sighs> the double glasses is always a good gag where you're wearing like two or three pairs. You take the first pair off and they're like, what? That was a gag from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's where it happened first. Really? Yes. Huh. Because Will had a pair of glasses on, and DJ. someone told him to take it off. He takes off the pair, there's the another pair underneath. The Cue the laugh track. Uh, moon penguins and then it's been parodied in... Oh, uh, what kind of show was that? If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on birdseed... The dude, where he's always, like, putting on his glasses and taking his glasses off. He, like, makes a shitty pun every time. Oh, uh, CSI Miami. Yeah, that one. Nonsense. Yeah, that one. That's the one. Yeah. I didn't watch a lot of that. No, I like the Mad TV skit on it, but... Yeah. Comedy over violence? You don't say. Conductor, <laughs> darling. Yeah. This year will be winning the annual yeah, I, Bird Movie Award. <laughs> I like wearing glasses just for jokes. Because I'll go around my house and like put on a pair of sunglasses and be like, Wake the fuck sky. up. <laughs> we got a city to burn. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's from uh, Cyberpunk. Oh, okay. I haven't yeah, like Keanu Reeves. So I'll like, put my hair down oh, like yeah. that. Put on two pairs of glasses. Like, wake the fuck up. And then take off the one pair and I'm still wearing a pair. 
I would have kicked you out of my well, house if you did that. <laughs> well, I also found the glasses while I was just out on a walk one day. That's called stealing. No, it was on the ground <laughs> after a rainstorm, uh -huh. and I was like, huh. Sure, sure, it just happened to be on the ground, and you just found them. Yeah, I didn't, they like... They fell off the back of a truck. They fell off the back of a kid I tripped. <laughs> uh, so what I was thinking of are these uh, plastic shutter shades. That look oh, like they have yeah. horizontal blinds on them. Yeah. Yeah. They're shades, shades. What are they really good for, though? Um, blocking your vision yeah. and causing car accidents. Yeah. I guess also fashion, maybe, if you like that sort of stuff. If you're ironic. Um, I'm only wearing clothes ironically. Oh, man. I've, I'm actually a nudist this whole time. You know you're <laughs> naked underneath all your clothes? <laughs> We're all naked. You're naked right now under, underneath the clothes. Oh, I heard this weird statistic. I can't remember the exact number, but it's like there's a minute chance that if you were to slap your hand down on a table, there's such a slight, slight chance that all the atoms just so happen to miss as you go. So you slap your table and your hand would just pass right through. There's such a minute chance that it could happen just by the positioning of all the atoms in your hand and in the table, mm. but it's possible to happen. I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere if you're on near. drugs, anything's possible. No, yeah, no, no. sure. Statistically, it's impossible, but there's such a minute chance that it could happen, but it can happen. Can you imagine if that happened to a person and you're walking on a floor and your foot just like sinks in? And then your and foot then will your get foot stuck, stuck and you pull and... Ow! And then they have to cut your leg off? To get your foot out? I can imagine that's <laughs> happened like one time. It's called and... cement, you genius. No, 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 no. <laughs> like happens one time where you you just uh -huh. somehow phase through just by happenstance of the atoms. It's also called quicksand. And it's not as quick as you might think. You actually float in it. You mm. don't sink. But imagine that happens <laughs> in like middle ages and someone's just like, someone must have hexed this man or something. I got it. Lava. The floor is lava. <laughs> That's why that game exists. Oh, because people were scared of the floor just <laughs> absorbing you? Yeah. Oh, like a fleshy floor. Ew. Ew. It's called leather. No. Go inside. Leather carpet? Monstro. I've heard of like leather bed sheets, but leather, not leather carpet. Shag carpet, but made of leather. Oh. Just strips of raw hide on the ground. Yeah. Not even dry, just wet. Yeah. That would be... God awful. It's slippery. You know how like when a dog chews a rawhide bone until it falls apart? Yeah. Just a flooring of that. Ooh. Just oh, no. foamy white gross strips of Ew. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Done thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared of rawhide flooring. Oh no. I got a bill. How much rawhide do you think you can get? Hmm. Is that something you can buy in bulk? We making rawhide carpets today. Yeah. Well, no, just look it up, you know, for price matching. You can get it in three meter packs on Etsy, apparently. But just, like, strips to make your own rawhide bones. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth it. You'd have to buy a whole bunch of bones and like soak them and oh, oh. too much work just to make your gross carpet yeah there's Maybe one on someday. ebay where you can get a pack of six pre-rolled bones for like 20 bucks plus a bunch of shipping nah it's not worth it ah oh, dang nah what a thing to look up though salt on cactus is uh, this episode is sponsored by 321treats.com, where you can buy large packs of rawhide bones for 20 bucks. Eat them. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Stick them in your mouth hole and chew. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried a rawhide chew bone? Just no. On like but for fun now I'm just because you're curious. Yeah. Why do dogs like them so much? What do they taste like? Hmm. Nibble nibble. Wait a minute, I need... Anything? Oh, is he gonna touch that? Or no? No. <laughs> Bye! No! No! Oh. 
you have a running tally? Of how much damage you're doing? Yeah. God, if this is like Grand Theft Auto 1, they'd be paying you to do that. Mm-hmm. Whoops. You ever played that game? Yeah, I have. The old top-down version with the... Yeah, and also 2. Uh, I, I tried to get it to run for the channel, but it needs a second computer. Really? Yeah. So, uh, we're holding an eBay auction to <laughs> auction off some uh, custom merchandise Ooh. to uh, raise funds. So, uh, stay on the lookout for that. Oh. No one's ever going to hear that announcement. Nah. The, the goal is to raise enough money for you guys to get a, a desktop computer. Ooh. And if I have any left money left over, get in a second mixer. I would definitely uh, like to get to desktop. Because then we could do some more remote uh, recording. Yeah, you can finally use your Steam account that I bought you games for that you don't touch. Because it's just a laptop I got. As a matter of fact, the last game I bought you, um, you guys didn't redeem it, so I got it back. <laughs> it was a whole dollar. Oh, no. Uh, am I supposed to... I, I bought you guys... Uh, Shucks. Um... Black Desert Online during the uh, okay, summer sale okay. for a dollar, and it was like the game and everything with it. Uh, okay, it yeah. was like ninety nine percent off. I'm like, it's a dollar. I can afford a dollar. Nope, never redeemed it. You'll never recover financially. Well, I don't know what to do with that dollar now. Uh, I already own all the games that I want. Yeah, <laughs> I've been finding that myself as well. Kinda makes me sad where I'm like, wow, I'm kind of done buying games for a while. Well, if you're like me, and you have like a game collection, you're like, well, there's always another game you could buy for a different system, but like, you're gonna run into that problem anyway where you're like me and you have all the games you can afford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a weird situation, because I've got enough income that if I want a game, I just buy it. Mm -hmm. like, it's very bizarre. Because right now, um, I've only had my Switch for a year. I bought it, not this previous Christmas, uh, 2019, Christmas of 2019. Mm -hmm. I have 87 games for it now. Oh my goodness. And the ceiling to get a new game for it is about $100. Yeah, the games aren't cheap because now I'm looking back at like release titles like when the game first switch first launched mm -hmm. and they're hard to find because no one wants to part with them because they don't make them anymore uh which ones oh, lots of things and like all the stuff from limited run games I can't find anything less than 150 bucks really yeah damn because again they're limited runs they make like 2000 or something of a game and then that's it hmm what really makes me mad, I don't know why people do this, is they take the cartridge out of the case and put it into a sleeve or something, or a, like a switch case, and they throw away the original box. Oh, that's terrible. So you'll come across an auction with like just a handful of these switch cartridges. And it's why? the blurriest photo and you can't tell what they are. Like, yeah, here's uh, 50 switch cartridges. Uh but why would you get rid of those little boxes? They're not even the worst boxes. They're just small cases. Yeah, they fit most anywhere. But I've seen that with like every console you can imagine. And it's the worst with like Switch and PS1. Mm. I guess because they're not DVD case size. No, people do that with everything, including like, like Xbox games and PS3 and 4 games. I never they understood that. Take them out of the cases and put them into like sleeves. And put the sleeves into a binder. Oh, I hate the binder. Yeah. Don't binder them. Because <laughs> every time you remove that game, it scratches it. Yeah. Ugh. Like, even if it's just a little. Mm -hmm. Over time, it makes wear and tear. I had a box set of uh, Stargate SG-1. And it was the really fancy one with like the Stargate on the box. Ooh, nice. But when you open it, it's four books of paper binders and they're paper sleeves, like hard cardboard sleeves. So as soon as you remove one, you scratch your CD. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I carefully deconstructed the, all the stupid cardboard without pulling any of them out. So I did scratch anything and I took a, 
uh, old CD spool, There's and I stacked no them on the spool, I and put the spool in the box, mm, and the downloaded it, because <laughs> I wouldn't be able to watch some of those discs, because the first two I pulled out were scratched. You know what's so deplorable? We need to give you a what? Bird pass the for, CD Step holders right that's just a peg and, like, a disc tray? So you put a disc, and then a disc goes on top of that one, and then on top of that one. No, 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 no. The worst cases you can get are the cardboard the cases, but the the peg in the middle is foam. Oh. The little circle of foam. Because mm. right that foam disc will come off. Okay, yep. The glue the will dry, and it'll loosen up in please. the box or whatever, and it'll rattle around and it'll scratch the CD to hell. Am I supposed to wait for them to take the picture? Do you remember floppy drives? <laughs> how bad those were? <sighs> Do you, have you seen an old down. eight and a half inch floppies? The old really big ones? Yeah. They hold like half a megabyte or something. <laughs> Darling, you move the 800 kilobytes or whatever. We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Photo doctoring. Hey, I've, I've got one for the old uh, classic Sim City for DOS. What are you doing? I'm supposed to make myself look pretty. So instead you're gonna make nightmare fuel. Uh, you have bigger brushes. This is difficult with this. Also, and no undo. No undo, there's an eraser. <gasps> okay, all right. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, mouse and keyboard. Yeah. It's like we're playing on a desktop or something. No way, there's no evidence of that. You just plug a mouse and keyboard into your Switch. You can. Uh, as long as it's supported, I suppose. Yeah, it does support it. It's just there's no games that use it, because ah. why would they? Makes sense. Looking gorgeous. Well, you need to have the, um, the weird black bleeding eyes. Or the... Uh, the weird veins. Oh, is it? Does that not work? So, it's one of those mice that only works if you move it while holding click. And then we need some of this. A little bigger. I was thinking clown makeup, but whatever. Clown makeup? Yeah. Big red nose. Okay. Big red nose. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. How big is this nose? Looks just like you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Ah, much better. <laughs> okay, okay. Big nightmare grin. Where it's like big, sharp, jagged teeth, but it's kind of off center to make it look more unsettling. Or. Oh! <laughs> I'll get it. That's the mouth now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> Those are like little teeth. Yeah. They should be more square. Oh. Ah. Eh, that's, that's pretty good. Let's Perfect. It's in my passport. passport. One passport. Hooray. Perfect. I'm, I'm legally, legally a bird now. Oh, time to go get COVID. Oh, yeah, time to go spread some corony boys. Tomorrow, Co Corvid. We'll Corvid. Yeah. I'm a crow. I don't like the platform shoes. Not no? a fan. Hey, I would never wear platform doing? shoes. I feel like oh, I'd immediately fall on my face. I'm tall enough already. <laughs> You'd be hitting the Not doors, you. door frames. Yeah. I bet if you went to Japan, you'd be hitting the door frames. Or at least you wouldn't fit in the showers proper. Alright. Because apparently their stuff is a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. Which it would be oh, just significant. Sounds kind of racist, you and. No, it's not. It's uh -huh. Their stuff is a little different sized. Uh -huh. Their beds are smaller. Their showers are smaller. Uh -huh. Just because it's more efficient to have stuff smaller. And the general height there is a little smaller. So if you'd like to contact you and I, you can find him on the top left at Econ. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and tell him he's a piece of garbage. Yeah, tell me that I'm so wrong that people are different. Oh no, I slapped the thing in his rear. I thought doorways were standard sizes. 
I don't think so. Like, there's a building code standard for doors. In, yeah, including each like, country has their own. Including, like, disability things for, like, knob heights and sizes and things for, like, public doors. and. Every country has their own uh, standard. Then it's not a standard if they're all different. No, no, no. It's like, yeah. there's CSA. There's stereotypical doorways where you have, like, a huge basketball player standing next to a regular door. Yeah. But that's not real. There's, like, you CSA, forced. which is, like... Uh -huh. Canadian Standards Association. Sure, and sure. then there's ANSI. Uh-huh. Yeah, a n s i Be very defensive about this, Ewan. No. Mm, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> Just giving you a hard time, it's fine. <laughs> uh, as long as ooh, I get to be a sleuth. As long as you understand that you're an idiot, it's fine. Oh, I understand okay. fully. Perfect. Yeah. Works for me. <laughs> uh, oh, we're on a train. Uh. Oh, it doesn't have a knife hat this time. So oh. it's not the chef. Okay. What's with this game in knives? You, you notice that? Yeah. Welcome back, lassie. Well, okay. I haven't written a script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll I'm actually looking for a door, the by the way. Is red. <laughs> <clears throat> so at my house, I have a kitchen, right? The ki kitchen connects to a hallway, and the hallway connects to uh, the bedrooms. Yeah. The bedrooms have doors. Not great doors, but they close. You know, whatever. And I was thinking, you should not be going door to the kitchen. Your daily life become more secure. What, what do you think of that? The door on the kitchen, in the hallway. It would be good. But there's a problem with that door. You can't swing open because there's no room for it. And you can't put a pocket door in it because there's electrical on both sides of the, the wall. So I was thinking, sliding barn door. I see. So I, I built see. one oh. out of two by fours. Oh. Yes. Re recovered from the dump. So I cleaned them all up and sanded them all down and removed all the nails. It looks pretty nice. Um, two by fours are heavy, as it turns out. Uh, the door is over 200 pounds. Um, can't mount it to drywall. That's my story. <laughs> the end. Dealing with drywall sucks. So as far as I got is I built the door. I bought the rails for the, for the slidey part. With like all the brackets and fasteners and stuff. Mm. And now it's too heavy to put up, so now it's just in my basement. Yes, sir. Any studs you Did could you connect know anything to there. Helps improve self -confidence. Did you also know? In theory? Sure, but it requires me like taking out the drywall, the putting in a, a brace, and then drywalling it back up, and then putting the door up. Mm. That's so, a lot of work. So my idea... Go on... To uh, Facebook to like the buy and sell section and be like, I am searching for a door. Do you have one for cheap? <laughs> and I got a reply recently. Ooh. For twenty five dollars, I can get a door. Ooh. I don't have a photo of the door, so I can't show it to you. But I can assume that it's door shaped. I'd hope so. Maybe square, if anything. Ooh. Could you imagine like a round door? Just a, a hobbit. Door? Hobbit hole. Mm. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool, though. You can call me Mr. Beggins. And I can call you, um, Samwise. Samwise Gamgees. Yes. For Mr. Frodo. Nope, Mr. Baggins. Last name. Mr. Baggins and <laughs> Mr. Frodo. But doesn't Samwise always say that? Oh, Mr. Frodo. Yeah, he says Mr. Frodo, which is wrong. <laughs> Nobody said he's the smartest. But he's got a good heart. Oh, Mr. Frodo. Please step on me. <laughs> Fellow with your big hairy hobbit feet. <laughs> you. Oh, oh, step on me like a zero. grape. What would your name be if entered on an online form with standardized what? account identification oh, requirements? Uh, so I'm gonna ask uh, if they have photos of the door. I'm gonna ask Jeeves. But they're not home. Excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's not a, like a password or anything? <laughs> no. Okay. See, everybody's been asking me questions, mm -hmm. and so far I've answered every question as Grundle. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. You're just a bad person, aren't you? There's Grundle69, Grundle420, Grundle42069, gr and then Grundle as my dog or cat. Yeah. You are a bad person. 
Nah. <laughs> they're asking for sensitive information. I think they're gonna come after me. They're gonna steal your uh, banking information? Yeah, it seems like it. Mm. Oh, you guys! They are the Crow Mafia, after all. Crow Uh, look me up, Salada. Really, I have to walk up to it? I I've noticed some weird ladder mechanics in some recent games. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. When you go up and down ladders... Everything stops. Yeah. That's weird. Why does it do that? There's no reason to. No, not really. But like NPCs who are like throwing a Pokeball in the air, you can like get the Pokeball to freeze as you go up and down the ladder. Yeah, I've noticed that. I don't know why. Um, Paper Mario Origami King is the first time they've had a ladder where you can actually climb up and down manually. Oh. And there's a weird animation for that. Most times, Paper Mario had, like, platforms to jump up, or stairs or something. The first time they've had ladders. Ladders are lazy in a Mario game. Come on. <laughs> your uncle, sister, Grundle, 60 has come to visit you. Uh, that's a little rude. Alright, we gotta save Grundle. <laughs> Or the uh, the ladders for uh, Goat Simulator, where your your model doesn't like change; they just kind no, of like, just halfway sort of clip through it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Is the old lady? She is the old one. Yes. But they're crows. someone would murder one of the express owls. Would it be believe even more. What is that creature supposed to be? A dog, I guess. What do you have to see for yourself? Is he supposed to be Scottish? Yeah, Scottish Terrier or something, Ooh, maybe. You're giving me the quiet treatment, eh? That's what maybe a they're murderer, murderer would do. Are those teeth Leave in his mouth, or are they feathers us. from his jaw? Teeth. We're caught. The crow agent so is that hair We've or teeth coming from the back of his head? Hair? I don't know. Mm. He's a weird character. We'll yeah, nothing makes sense. Evidence. Does no it have to? Yes. To go okay. Of this <laughs> what? Like, what the hell is that thing? Yeah, he's kind of gross, oh. isn't he? Also, the lips and things. Looks like a... Heartless. Once the clock hits midnight, we'll oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. With yeah. the Wrong color, though. Cuffs. Stay Wrong head shape. While we investigate first. Wrong everything, but yeah. Wrong everything, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Doesn't look right. like a heartless at all, but you know, I can see it being a heartless. Just change the color of it, and it's a heartless. Mm -hmm. One owl hour left. Time to murder them all. Okay, I go bye bye. See you. He did it. Yeah, where do I gotta go? Terms and conditions. <laughs> That's about average. Oh, am I supposed to not be seen by these guys? Our YouTube channel has terms and conditions. Ooh. Yeah, they're in the description of every video we've ever produced. Including the very first video that we've ever put up. Oh my. We're collecting evidence. Why would he be a suspect? Didn't we play a Disney game like this? Yeah, 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 we did. The weird one. They're all weird. Where it was on a train. Yeah. yeah. Why do trains have to have so many murders? Um, because they're all fire. copying My Little Pony. Duh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. there's a deep cut for you. Alrighty. Because it's uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Yeah. Isn't there a game of that? Literally called that? Yeah. Yeah. It's also a book. Yeah. Probably a movie. Yeah. Uh-oh, am I going to fail this if I don't get all the evidences? Alright, I was going to look up what... Disney murder game we played. Disney murder game. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what it was. What of it? Whoa. Uh -oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Fight me. Let's not get detected while we're looking for a key. So neat thing about our channel is um if we can group anything into a playlist, we will. So if you look for Disney games, we have like Disney and Disney Think Fast and the one? game I was looking for was Disney's Guilty Party. Guilty Party, that's the one. Yes. 
Oh my goodness, I'm gonna fail this mission. We have hundreds of playlists. Yeah. On our channel that you can search through. Yeah, look through them and find something you like. <clears throat> my my goal for playlists is to be able to search for any game and come up with a a list for it. Oh yeah. Or or a, a publisher, so you can look up like EA games or sports games or whatever, and like go through it that way. I'm keeping it well sorted. What is this? That's a dog. Why is there a dog? So, for example, you can look up a uh, uh, World of Goo, and then you can go to the publisher and find the publisher, and then find Human Resource Machine and Seven Billion Humans. <laughs> nice. Which we played recently on the channel. Yeah. A couple months ago now, but it's recent. Recent enough. Yeah. Or if you want, you can look up just like walking simulators. You can get like 10 videos of those. Ooh. Or you can look for like videos with just you in it. <laughs> That's a lot of them. Take a guess how many. Uh. Best guess. Gonna guess. 90. Slightly more than 90. Slightly more? How much more are we talking? Um. Well, you're number one. First time I've ever heard that. And. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> uh, you're at 503. What? Before these videos go up. How? Uh, Man, I play a lot of games with you. Yeah, not enough though. Should be more than that. <laughs> you need to work on your scheduling. I really do. Uh, Misty is second with 317 as of right now. Ooh. Now here's a statistic, which is our most successful videos for each host. Oh, f per host? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a weird one to figure out. Uh, Stupid crows everywhere. Stop looking. And then me, and then Vinny, and Brad. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're on there, too. I hope you're Some, on there. Somewhere. Not in that order, but we're there. Should get him back. Get Vinny back one day. Yeah, see how he's doing. Let me in. He's got weird hours. He lives far away. He doesn't like the same kind of games that I do, and he doesn't play anything that I buy him, so I stopped buying him games. He's actually, like, refunded one of my games and oh. came back to me. <laughs> so now I have $100 in credit sitting on my account. Nice. Point your finger without clues. Okay. I love being a little girl solving a murderer. Um, yeah. Fun. Oh, there's a thingy up there. You want to keep playing? Uh, sure. So I'm kind of bored of this game already. You're kind of bored of this one? It's a platformer. They're all the same. Yeah, I suppose so. We kind of get the gist of we it. We could just play Super Mario 64. It's the same game. It actually yeah. might be more fun, but... A little mm. more nuance to it. I mean, it, sure, it's newer technology and it looks prettier, but it's the same game. Yeah, in essence. Instead of coins, you're collecting orbs and you don't spend the coins in Super Mario. I know how to see you do. But that's Th Those are stars, not coins. No, you spend the coins in Odyssey. Do you? Yeah. On what? Outfits. Oh, what do they do? Uh, some of them unlock stars for you. Oh, so they're not just cosmetic? And yeah. They're, and they're not like random loot boxes, you can actually like pick one? Yeah, I always go for the naked Mario. <laughs> you would. Yeah, I would. Yeah. And I do. What, what, what was over there? Uh, hat in time. Um, yeah, it's... Sure is a game. I think the review score was pretty accurate. I thought it said liquors. Liquors. What kind of weird Resident Evil game is this? Ooh, I've been watching reviews on Resident Evil games lately. Well, not reviews, like synopses. And I just find it entertaining because oh, I played that, them all. That story is weird. Yeah, and I'm always a fan of it. As long as you don't include the movies. Oh, the movies are god-awful. Yeah, because it's a different universe. Yeah. 
Those movies are weird. Yeah, I <laughs> don't like them. Uh, what, what do you think is the worst Resident Evil game? Uh, worst one... Code Veronica X. Whatever you were going to say was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also the most rare game because no one bought it. Yeah, it's pretty weird. And also they're not going to remake it because it's for the GameCube. They never remake GameCube games. Makes me sad. Anyway, um, we're going to get out of here. Yeah. And well, maybe play something different. Who knows? Who knows? You do. We, oh, <laughs> we yeah. told you. We told right, you guys. Right. Yeah. Um, but thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye-bye. That is the wrong button.